Starting seeds indoors is so rewarding. I love the process of planting the seeds, seeing them sprout, and getting them ready to transplant outside. For the best chance of success when you're starting those seeds indoors, it's so important to sanitize all of your seed trays and containers before planting those seeds inside. And in today's video, I'm going to share the simple steps that you can do to make sure everything is clean and ready to go. But if we haven't met before, my name is Angela from Growing in the Garden, and I love to share garden inspiration and helpful tips so you can be successful in your own garden. Clean trays and containers means there's less chance of your seedlings dying or damping off. Damping off is a common problem caused by fungal diseases. The seedlings look healthy and then they die. But sanitizing your seed trays and containers beforehand can prevent a lot of those problems with damping off. The first step is to gather your supplies. You may already have everything you need to get those seed trays sanitized. It's easiest to work outside. You'll need a large area where things can get wet. If you have a large table outside, or you may have a cement pad, or even use a tarp outside. The supplies that you'll need are a large tub, mild detergent, some kind of a brush or sponge, vinegar, hydrogen peroxide, three or 12% depending on the method you're going to use, and some spray bottles. The first thing you're going to do is to get all of the dirt off. It's like you're doing dishes, but you're doing it outside. So you're going to fill up one of those containers, add some soap, put the containers in there, and just wash them with that brush or the sponge. Get all of the dirt off. It really takes abrasion to get some of that dirt off. I like using a brush made for cleaning bottles to get in there and clean those pots and it works really well. Once you've washed everything, rinse it off in that other tub and then lay them out and you can actually take a hose and spray them off again too just to make sure all the dirt and debris is off of those seed trays. The next thing you're gonna do is to spray off all the surfaces with a vinegar solution. So mix equal parts vinegar and water in a spray bottle. Spray off all the surfaces with the vinegar solution. Allow the solution to stay off for 10 minutes and then rinse again. The last step is to use a hydrogen peroxide solution to sanitize the containers. There's two methods for doing this. The easiest way and the method that I usually do, put hydrogen peroxide, 3%, in a spray bottle. Spray all the surfaces of the trays and containers with hydrogen peroxide and then let it sit for 10 minutes and then rinse thoroughly. Allow them to air dry. If you've had a lot of issues with damping off and other fungal diseases, you may want to use a higher concentration of hydrogen peroxide and allow those seed trays to soak to completely remove any traces of bacteria. Take them out of that solution and then rinse off and allow them to air dry. But just be careful if you're working with that higher concentration of hydrogen peroxide. It can definitely cause skin irritation and you need to wear chemical resistant rubber gloves when you're using it. That's it. I told you it was simple. It's not a hard process, but it's definitely a step that you shouldn't skip when you're starting seeds indoors. Thank you so much for watching. If you're looking for more information about starting seeds indoors, I have a video and a blog post where I detail the process. I'll put links here in the video and also in the description.